The senator of Busia County, a one Mr. Okia Omtata, is very popular for rushing to court over anything and everything. And the time when President Ruto toured that particular region, he told him to his face that Mr. President, I don't agree with your bill and I'm going to take you to court. And true to his word, he has taken President William Ruto to court about this bill and he wants it declared null and void. Not the entire bill, but certain chunks of that bill. And the court seems to be trolling Okia Omtata. This bill is going to arrive in parliament on the 15th of this month. And Okia Omtata's case is going to be listened to on the 19th of this month. A solid four days after the bill has already entered the galleries of parliament. And for me, this is something that I've noticed judges will do when they find your case to be something they don't want to handle. I saw this same issue when Raila Odinga declared Monday a public holiday. And Mike Sonko rushed to court to have the court declare that declaration by Raila Odinga null and void. What did the justice do? And I think it was Justice Hedwig Ongudi if I'm not wrong. She decided she will listen to that case on Tuesday. Now here's a case that is touching on Monday and you're listening to it on Tuesday. I don't think even Sonko bothered <laughs> going to court after that. But anyway, in this particular video, I want us to look into Okia Omtata's case against President William Ruto. We want to see what he's saying uh, is wrong with this bill and whether or not he's likely to get his way in the courtroom. But before we get into that, if you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Wafula. Hit the subscribe button, you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. Now, the first issue that Okia Omtata has denoted from that particular bill is that, according to him, this issue of 3% tax on housing cannot come from the president. He has no problem with the taxation. He just has a problem with the origin of that taxation. He is saying that for this particular 3% of housing, it has to come from parliament. So the way it ought to be done is that the president ought to request parliament to give him 3% uh, for housing. Parliament deliberates upon it, then approves and gives it to the president. Not the president sending it in in the form of a bill for parliament to just vote upon it and then ratified into law. So that is the problem that he has. And the last time I saw this kind of quagmire was when Uru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga brought about the BBI. It was struck down in the High Court because a popular initiative cannot be brought by the president. It has to be brought by the people. So that is why in fact the BBI was tossed aside. They just looked at it and so this is something that Uru Kenyatta and Raila are the chief engineers and not Wanjiku as it ought to be. And Omtata is hoping to get that same kind of verdict from this particular lawsuit. Now the other issue according to Senator Okia Omtata is that iron ore was discovered in Fumula which is in his own county. And in this bill you are required to pay $175 just to ship this iron ore outside this country. And according to Omtata, that clause has been put there to give an assist to some steel manufacturers here in Kenya. I don't know if he's talking about Devki Steel Industries, but according to him, the whole thing has been rigged so that this iron ore cannot be exported overseas and instead it will be used here locally. And that means that those who are buying will buy it for cheap as opposed to if they imported it. Now that one sounds like a legit reason for him to have a problem with the, with the bill because it is touching on his own county. And as the senator of that county, surely, if he's not complaining or raising hell over such issues, then definitely the electorate will send him home. Now, this case is being handled by a justice who is becoming very popular. Every single case I see, it is Justice Hedwig Ongudi who is touching on it, especially the big cases. Now, in my opinion, this bill is going to pass regardless. If Justice Hedwig Ongudi is to make a ruling that might delay the passing of this bill before the 30th of June, then we will be in a constitutional crisis. These are things that even the justices know at the back of their mind. At 30th of June, we'll be in a constitutional crisis. There'll be no money. Yes, the money is there, but it cannot just be moved like the way you move goats or sheep. The only way it can be moved is if a bill is passed in parliament because that bill is what guides the entire government. That is how we know that treasury needs this much to operate, state house needs this much, the county of Nairobi needs this much, Narok is also requiring this amount of money, and also as far as collection of tax is concerned, we also know how we are taxing the people. Otherwise, KRA will be breaking the law. If they just implement the 3% when the bill has not passed, they are breaking the law. Anything they do will be breaking the law. Even the judiciary itself will not receive a salary. The same justice who might give a ruling perhaps, 
that puts us in a constitutional crisis, we'll not be having a salary in a month's time. And the second reason why Okio Mtata's case is not likely to succeed is because a negative ruling would shed very bad light on the judiciary. We all remember Justice Chacha Mwita and the funny rulings he used to give day in day out, to the point that a whole tribunal was formed to probe him and to oust him. However, till date, Okia Omtata is the single biggest threat to President Ruto's agenda in Parliament. In Parliament, Azimio is prepared to protest, derail the process, and probably even vote no against the bill. But they don't have the numbers. And Okia Omtata knows that. And that is why he's saying the best place I can go is to the courts. Let's wait for the 19th of this March to see how that case will be ruled upon. But before then, if you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube search for David Wafula, hit the subscribe button, you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. Alright guys, adios.